What's up guys, Blackwater Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Tour de France 2020 for stage number 10 of the Tour de France playthrough with Trek Sigafredo. If you've missed the previous episodes then I highly recommend you to go and watch them. Um, but today's stage is a flat one between Lille de Léon and the Ile de Ré, uh, two islands on the south of the France. Is flat and without any difficulties, but be on your guard as the wind can lead to Bordeaux. As we've got the leader's jersey, we'll have to shoulder our responsibilities and set the pace in the peloton. But the main opponent today is the wind. Normally, we'd put a cross through this stage, but with the wind, the outcome is unclear. It's up to us to seize the opportunity for a good result. Have a good stage. Right, I was going to say, it looks very flat, but there is three zones where Bourdieu's and winds could be extremely dangerous to us. Uh, you've heard our sportive director. Or our sports director just talking about it. So we're going to have to be extremely careful of what we do. Um, but we have a consistent lead. Uh, or more of a solid lead, sorry. In the GC right now. You can see the gaps on the right hand side of the screen are completely mental already. But things could change very well, very quickly. If a border could happen. The Jumbo Visma team could definitely pace us. And just drop us. Same for Ineos. So let's try to stay extremely careful, stay aware of our surroundings and of the wind. And let's make this stage, well, just not a threat. Right, the stage has started. We've taken control of Eduard Tunes because he's the green jersey. And I mean, there's no threat until the first sprint of the day. So we'll make sure that we get the point with him. As uh, Patrick Bevan and Arthur Vichro have attacked for CCC and Vital Concept BNB Hotel. My PS4 is currently making a lot of noises because... I don't know, uh, so I don't know if you're hearing this in the background, I, my mic like picks up so many things and I don't understand why. Uh, like it, it picks up me breathing, me swallowing when I record on Tour de France. When it does that on TCM, never, but on Tour de France it's mental. So yeah, I hope you can't hear it, the wind behind. If anything, I'll try to turn it down in the, in the edits. Uh, but we've got a lot of attacks now, Michael Bassini, Zoran Krafandesen, Nicolas Roche, Gaspar Leto, Jürgen Roland, Quentin Paché. To Vincent to anybody, interestingly enough. Alright, let's simulate. Um, what? What? Bauke, what the fuck? Bauke, why are you in the... He's got his teammates riding because in front, there's a rider who's dangerous to him in the overall standings. What? Bauke, why are you in the break? Why? Why did you decide to go in the break with Ackerman, Gaviria, Hunnevigan and Caleb Ewan, who are literally my biggest opponents? Why would you do that to me? Why? Okay, we might come back on them, but too late, I think. I'll fucking Arno, mate, move out. Alright, we're gonna come back. Well, it's BP, it'll gonna be P5 for us. It'll be P5 for us. Yeah. Watch out! No need to, uh, to, to do uh, a bike throw. It is P5. We've limited the damage. I'm so confused as to what Bokemon did. I'm you not gonna lie. Oh god, there's a wind. There's a lot of wind. Okay, the there is a lot of wind. Let's make sure that we don't get caught up on anything. Where's Vincenzo? I'm gonna take control of Vincenzo here. Yeah. I'm gonna take control of Vincenzo. Can I ask my team to, like, really high? Right, set a high tempo, yes. Is that that way? Hold up. Richie, uh, you're gonna write 90, Chicone 90, Schoen's 90, Turns nope, Pedersen 90, Stoven 90. And Bauke, you'll protect me. Alright, let's see what happens if I do that. Let's make sure that we stay uh, in, a wa in, in a rather high position. Is going to be front wind now. No, it's side wind. Okay. That's just not a high pace, is it? They're just not pacing 90, is it? Do I need to pace even more for 90? Ah, 100. Does that change anything? I'll make Let's a see. Big effort on the relay. Yeah, make a big effort, lad. Is there anything happening behind? Nah, not really, but potentially we could see s some sort of uh, of of Cassius. Like, I'm I'm seeing the potential for Cassius here. Okay. 
I do like the fact that my team is literally split into two trains right now. Right, well let's continue this rhythm uh, and see what happens. 135 is the gap with the breakaway. Patrick Bevin, Ben Hammans, Kevin Reza, then Nils Polit. God, is the win like really high? Oh, we are creating, uh, I mean, the person is being stretched a lot, but no castles nonetheless though. Should I need to like attack or something? Like, tempo 110 for example. How, how would that work? What would happen if I do that? Let's see. I'll go full out on Let's the see. Relay. We're gonna follow Caleb Ewan. We've got a Yumbo Rider at the lead, so that's why the rhythm isn't extremely like increasing right now. Danny Navarro is gonna be losing time today. Good old top 10 finisher of this Tour de France a few years ago when he was riding for Cofidis. Is this 110? If this is 110, I mean, that's just not hard enough. Alright, look. I'm just gonna pace normally and overtake these guys. Oh, now it's gonna be 110 with Tom Schoens. Go on, Tom's. Let's go, Tom Schoens. Okay, that's one. Oh, just that is 110. He's the best place. Wait, hold up. Because now the. Right, the thing is finished. The Right, there's no wind anymore. Let's wait for the next zone. Less than 10 kilometers, we're once again going to uh, enter a zone exposed to wind. Uh, as Anthony will just completely die in front of me here. Alright. We're going to try and pace again. Uh, uh, oh, we're going to have the uh, bridge of the Ile de Ré, I think. Where's my team, and why aren't they pacing? I don't know. But we need to stay very high in this zone right now because this is a very key During part sprint, to to of the stage. The right, Vincenzo stay there, Tom Schoen, something going go back. Where's Edwartens? Hold up. Let me take uh, control of Edwartens as well. He's very not good. He's very not where I want him to be here. He's run this to Sam Bennett. Uh, I'm trying to see if Nibali holds on. Nibali's doing well. Nibali's doing what I need to, him to do. Good. Seven kilometers. The bridge is nearly finished. That's a good thing for us. There's not going to be any echelons. That's. I mean, not a bad thing. Alright. Got six kilometers to go. The bridge is finished. The window is still here. The wind is still here. It is still a very windy portion of the race. We're gonna have a few corners. There's Vincenzo Nibali. He's holding on quite well. He's done the job. He managed to not die, that's good. Right, we're right next to Sam Bennett. We're gonna try and navigate here, move past Nero Quintana. Oh god, we're not. They're sprinting already. Four kilometers and they've already started their sprint. Are they mad? Hold up. There we go. We're gonna ask my team not to ride, not to ride. maybe they'll change anything. Maybe they were the one pacing like absolute moron, although I believe trouble. that it is sure uh, Jumbo Visma and Lotus Sudal pacing. Only three kilometers left for the peloton. I'm going to reduce my Everything rhythm for a bit, take a bit of a sprint. gel. Uh, I think that was already enough. Blue wise, though, we're lacking. Blue wise, we're not there. Vincenzo is just up the road. Nice one. Uh, we're going to tell him to get his gel. All of the guys I could take a gel. Take a gel. There we go. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Alright, we're right behind Ackerman. Come on, let's get them wheel. Let's get in their wheel. He's being left behind. It's good news for the overall. Alright, we're gonna take the wheel of Arnold Demar. Well uh of I, I changed the name of Viviani though. Final sprint will soon be launched. Oh, I wanted to stay in the wheel of someone and I just didn't. Well, that's quite sad. Matteo Trentin takes the win today. Did I come? Um, did I do second and third? Did I just do second and third? Hold up. Because so Trentin overtakes me cleanly when I've lose. Uh, I've lost all energy. We do second and third. Wow. It's a win for the European champion Matteo Trentin. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he's not European champion in real life, but it's fine. We'll forget about that. Best, uh, well, I mean, the yellow jersey stays on the shoulders of Vincent Nibali, then Edouard turns, then Richie Poe, then Egan Bernal. Nothing changes on that end. Right, I don't know why they didn't change the name of Vivanti, because I know I did, but it's I, because we finished second and third with Jasper Stoyman and Edouard turns, our two Belgians, doing very well today, doing very well.
Uh, Vivante, Ackerman, Kulbrady, Honevig, and Belka Mollum in 8th place. Joining the whole Mats Pedersen. We've got three, four riders in the top 10. Wow. Oh, I'm checking if there's anyone that got like... Oh, there was a lot riders that lost time. Uh, Nibeli was 28th. Right, decent. Dumoulin, Bernal. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Fulsang... Yeah, Fulsang and Roglic are 27, 28, and 29th. They stayed together. Uh, but we've lost... So, Bernal, Dumoulin, Thomas... Yates, Thibaut Pino, of course he'd lose someone to Borgia. Quintana, Carapaz. <sighs> uh, no, Climber, there was no points today. Trentin takes 57 points ahead of us. 34 for Stoven, 31 for Edouard Tunes. Alright, GC wise, Mollum against one position because you overtake Sigan Bernal in the GC. Love that from you. Um, what else happened? Mountain wise, nothing changes. Points wise, Edouard Tunes maintains his lead, but Matteo Trentin jumps. 18 positions and goes up to uh, be our runner-up currently with 112 points, 14 points behind Edouard Tunes. Giviria is now uh, back once again third. Nibeli Roglic, Fulsang have lost place, obviously. Uh, Bernal stays in wide despite losing time today. Best team still trying to get further in. Ben Hammans is now the new leader of the combativity classification. But that, nevertheless, will be the end of this stage number 10, at the end of this episode number 10 of the Trek Sega playthrough on the Tour de France. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. Uh, if you're new on here, then please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can follow me on my social links. The links are in the description down below. But I shall see you in the very near future. I have been Blackwater. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding, I don't wanna go bombi Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad Snapping with a phone and dab, I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster